Well, today is going to be a lazy, crazy day. What I'm going to do is take rocks that I cut in earlier videos, so or that I found metal detecting, and polish it using a vibratory lap, and then slice it so we have a nice specimen. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Come join me. So here are the rocks. That is nickeline, kind of a brassy, coppery color. That is really nice silver. And that's the other half. Probably more of a mixed metal, but high grade silver. Same with that. There's another one with beautiful vein through it. I think it'll polish really nicely. There's his other half. This one should be dendritic. And the pink is going to be a dolomite. This might be a really cool rock. Now, one of the things I'll point out is I use a tile saw to slice and you can see the wheel leaves imperfections. A trim saw probably would do a better job than that. I'm hoping the, the vibratory lap will smooth those out. So let's get them rocking and a rolling. Redacted. <laughs> I don't know if they want their name and address in my videos. Something's missing. Oh, I know. Hockey cards. Told you it might get weird. Alright, it's been like two hours. From what I see, I think these are ready to go to medium grit. But let's just take a look. So you can see the marks from the tile saw are now worn out, worn off. I think it's a good looking rock. So there's medium grit, redacted. <laughs> Just like the DOJ. It's a lot finer than the last one. They're playing nicely. A couple of hockey players are on the bench because they got injured. <laughs> they just fell off the rocks. Okay, so it's been like one hour and I think these bad boys are done. We'll take a look at a couple and then get them into pre-polish. <laughs> it's getting exciting. Okay, here's two examples. What do you think? I see an improvement. Oh, but pre-polish will make them just outstanding. Let's get it moved over. Next up, fine tumbleshine polish, also known as pre-polish. So this stuff is very powdery, kind of like a baking soda maybe. Just enough to make a paste.
one hour later. All right, the pre-polish is done and the rocks are nice and smooth, but they're not glowing yet. One other observation, just in that vibratory lap, the rocks themselves have become pretty clean even on the outside, which is kind of a nice feature. I'll show you just a couple more. See what all cleaned up? For the polish, I'm gonna use half and half baking soda, which is a sodium bicarbonate, and red rouge, which is an iron oxide. So this is on a piece of felt. Make it damp with water. Let's see how these bad boys are doing. What do you think? Is that done? I think so. You can really now see the dolomite and the silver. Huh. Okay. One more. Wow. Can you see the difference? I see the difference. <laughs> okay, let's get these things into the bucket and the last step is we'll get some slices. Should I squish them all? <laughs> it won't help that bug. side and after and I did it maybe a quarter inch thin it's kind of nice the host rock dolomite intruded through almost dendritic Some problems cutting that one. So there's what should be before, or you know, the part I just cut, and there's after. cut. There's the polished. This one should be interesting. Cut. 
there is the after. Yeah. <laughs> I like. You like? I like. I like a lot. Now that's a nice rock. <laughs> I want to be careful with this one. So there's a quarter inch. It'll make it through the saw. Still a nice rock. There's the fresh cut. There's the after. Next up, nicotine. There's the fresh cut, there's polished. I kind of made a bit of a boo-boo. I nicked it with the blade, even so. Nothing wrong with nicoline. Let's make this one even thinner. That should do it. There's the fresh cut, and there's polished. I saw one of these in a store, and for something very similar, they wanted 130 Canadian for it, plus tax. Isn't that nice? Dolomite, and then the silver. Let's do that one thin too. There's the fresh cut. And there. Here's a wee one, but I like it, I like it a lot. There's the fresh cut. There's polished. I did it a quarter inch thick. And my last one. Well, the last one I'm going to cut. I got a few other rocks I'm just going to leave whole. Let's cut her. Okay, 
there's the cut. And there's the polish. Well, I hope you found that interesting. I sure did. Got a little crazy at times, but that's okay. Let's wrap this up by washing them, taking one last look, and we'll call it a day. High five. And we're back for the roundup. Here's the rocks, washed and dried. I think they turned out pretty good. These ones down here are the slices, and those are the ones we cut the slices from. If it wasn't a lazy day, I would immediately take those and put them back into the vibratory lap and polish them and then take another slice. But it is a lazy day, so instead I'm going to call it quits, but I have one more step that I want to do. Which, are the, which here are the nicest rocks? I'm thinking that one perhaps even that one They're kind of cool so there is a youtuber with a really interesting channel called bare naked stones and he wanted to make something nice for his wife we all know we have to take care of the women in our lives so what I'm gonna do is send him these two rocks and hopefully he can make something interesting for his lovey dove so they're in the mail today, my friend. And for those that have watched, thank you.